Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com and to the first in an occasional series where I look at alternative operating systems. And by alternative operating systems, I mean things other than Windows or Linux or Mac OS, which are today niche or developmental. And specifically in this video, I'm going to look at React OS, which is a free open source operating system for running Windows applications. So let's go and take a closer look. So, here we are on the React OS website at reactos.org, and just to highlight again, React OS is a free open source operating system with a design based upon Windows and which is written to run Windows applications natively. And if you're thinking, is this legal? Well, yes, it is because they're writing the code from the ground up, they're writing the code from scratch, so this will give us a perfectly legal free Windows alternative. And uh, I say will because right now it's in version what 0.4.7, it's very much still in alpha. You can't install this as your main operating system yet. This is all here so you can evaluate it for testing purposes or maybe get involved in the project. Anyway, I'll download it because I want to see how it's working out. And you can see we can download either a live CD, which you could boot from CD, or you can download a fully bootable version, which I'm going to do. And we'll do that and uh, won't give money money right now. And hopefully this will give us a file in a second. It will. Three, two, one, and uh, there we are. And we'll save that uh, file in there. Hopefully that won't take too long. And uh, there we are. It's finished downloading. We can close down the, the web browser. We've got the file here. We'll just extract it. And there we've got an ISO ready to install from. And what I'm going to do is to run up VirtualBox, which you might remember I installed and showed you a few videos back. I'm going to create a virtual machine in which to install this. So we'll recall it a uh, React OS, and what type is it going to be? Other, I think, and a uh, unknown 60 bore of it, I think. And we'll do next on that. We'll give it a couple of gig of memory just to be kind. And uh, we'll create a virtual disk, which will be bigger than that, I think, so I can play around with it a bit. Let's allow it to go up to 32-ish. And uh, there we are, we've got our virtual machine. And if we now uh, run up that virtual machine, we can pick our ISO, which was gonna be in here, wasn't it? And there it is, and open, and uh, start. And uh, we'll go uh, English United Kingdom, and uh, enter. Enter, we'll take that as okay for now. Yep, yep, okay. This is all very straightforward. And we'll install Booter on the hard disk. Enter. And uh, here we are. This seemed to be a quite painless. Next, all oh, this will be fine for now, we're testing. That'll do. And if we just click on through and press enter to start the system, we're now entering React OS. It seems to want us to sort some drivers out. They may or may not work given we're in a virtual machine, but didn't like that, but never mind. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about that at this stage. I'll control F to make us uh, up to at least not full screen, but looking nice and neat on the screen. And there we are running. React OS. So, here I am back again, and after a little bit of messing around, and I'll detail in the video description, I've got React OS running full screen. And as you can see, it looks very early Windows like. If I open up, say, my computer, this is uh, you know, very familiar for those of us who are used to running, say, Windows 7 in a classic skin, or indeed Windows XP. If I open up, say, the settings and the control panel, this looks uh, you know, remarkably Windows-like again. It all uh, scales and operates just like a Windows machine, which is, uh, I think, rather nice. If we look in the, the menu to see what's installed here by default, there's various accessories, these sort of things. Again, oh, this is very familiar for a Windows system, a very Windows-looking calculator up there. It's a React OS, a calculator, apparently. Um, what else have we got here? We've got um, games as Solitaire, which looks um, Rather Windows-like, it's got some React OS logo on the back, but basically this is uh, clearly the solitaire we all know and love. Quit, we will quit from that, won't get stuck in that today. 
And we've also got here various uh, accessories which are very, very familiar to us. Paint is here. And also we've got, uh, I think down here, um, we've got WordPad as well. So this is a very Windows type experience, isn't it? If you like Windows XP, you like Windows 7, you think you'll like what they're doing with React OS. However, in addition to having this standard Windows stuff, they've also got down here what they call the Applications Manager. And if we open this thing up, this basically allows us to install applications a bit like apps in a more modern operating system. So you can see we've got lots of different categories and there's lots of things available in these categories, even lots of games and things. So look, if you look down, down there, these are largely a open source things you can install, but uh, that's still pretty handy to have it like this. Uh, there isn't actually a web browser installed by default. So let's try and install the most recent web browser we've got here, which is Mozilla Firefox 48. If we click the install icon, see what happens. And we're in a pretty standard uh, Firefox install. It looks very much like we're installing in Windows, doesn't it? It's, uh, we'll make it our default. Launch Firefox now. Uh, we won't import things from Internet Explorer because I don't think it's here. Firefox doesn't know quite where it's been installed, does it? And um, can't find that server, but never mind. It's got there. Um, this seems to be working fairly well. Let's, let's use that. That might just be a page that doesn't exist anymore because it's a slightly older version of Firefox. Let's go to laning. Yes, this seems to be working. The font support's not bad. This is, this is rather impressive. A little bit slight things going on there with the screen redraw. That might be a virtual box issue. This is, this is an alpha operating system after all. That's actually working. So uh, I'm rather impressed with this. It says Firefox is out of date, so it needs updating. Let's try that. See if we can update this to uh, Firefox uh, 52.6. And we'll try running that. And uh, again, this looks pretty good. This is uh, with any, uh, oh yes, fairly, fairly reasonably it wants us to close what's going on already. So I will do that. Let's try that. Actually, I'll be, I'll be good and close other things as well. Let's try and give it the best chance. This is an alpha operating system. Let's see if we can do this. Upgrade. Launch it now. Ah, I think we've uh, hit the point where Alpha Operating System has got to us. That was a very nice fluid Windows Lice experience there, but clearly we can't expect everything to work perfectly with a, an Alpha Operating System. But even so, I'm very impressed so far with React OS. Well, here I am back again. And just to let you know that eventually I got this error message with Firefox that told me it wouldn't work. I couldn't get the thing working. Eventually I had to reinstall React OS onto a new virtual machine to actually get back to where we are now. But this is what happens when you play your experiment with the alpha software. This is all part of the excitement. So what I thought I'd do now is I'd put my Photoshop 5.5 CD into this machine, into the test rig running this. This came in this massive weight box with all these manuals. Software used to be very, very big. And if I go to uh, my computer, you'll see we've got that uh, optical drive there. We can open that up. And what I'm going to try and do here now is to install Photoshop 5.5. It's an older version of Photoshop, so I think it might have a good chance of working in React OS. And the critical thing I'm trying to prove here is we can use this not just to run open source software, we might as well use Linux for that, but to use standard Windows applications we might have available, which you couldn't install and use directly natively in Linux. So that's going to be the real value of having an operating system like React OS. So let's see how this will work. I'll just flick through the install. And uh, there we are, we seem to have uh, installed, which is pretty good. And if we go to the, uh, the menu, um, yes, we've got Adobe Photoshop 5.5. Let's see if it will launch. And there we are. I thought it had crashed, but it hasn't. It has got there. So we are now running Photoshop 
natively in a non-Windows operating system. That is a fantastic success for React OS. I'm very impressed with this. Can we open a document? I've got uh, sitting in uh, C docs, what seemed to be a good JPEG to use. There we are, I've just brought a JPEG into Photoshop um, in React OS. Isn't that fantastic? So presumably I've got my normal Photoshop stuff here. I can go and pick up a, a brush. Oh, it's, it is a version back, isn't it? I'm trying to remember how this version worked, but it must presumably work. Oh, that's not sort of good choice, is it, Chris? No, 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 no. Let's pick something a bit better than that. It's not, uh, not that different to what you use, Chris, surely. How did we change brush settings here? There must have been a way of doing that. I can't quite remember. But um, yes, it works, and presumably we can can we apply filters and things? Maybe we can. Let's try and do something. Uh, um, this is this is weird, of course, because the actual harbor on will be quite good for the. Uh, I think that's a very wacky effect, isn't it? That uh, we can. Yes. Well, there we are. This, as you can probably tell, I've, I've done this live for you, and it's worked. This this is impressive. We're actually running Photoshop in React OS. I really like React OS. It's got a great look and feel. It just gets on with being the operating system without being over encumbered with too much flashy stuff, with too much graphical stuff we really don't need, which we see in so many modern operating systems. Now, admittedly, during my testing of it, it sometimes looked more like this when occasionally it crashed, but that's to be expected. It isn't even at version 0.5 yet. It's still in alpha. It's still got a long way to go to be a final product. This said, I think there's going to be increased interest in React OS and related initiatives because in January 2020, we see the end of support for Windows 7 and a lot of people, myself included, are still thinking exactly where we're going to go when we see the end of Windows 7, when we haven't got that operating system available. And React OS would be a great alternative. Anyway, as always, I'd be interested in your views, what sort of thoughts have come into to your heads while you've been watching this video. What do you think of React OS and the broader implications of this type of development? Let us all know down in the comments section. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you see there, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon.